All right, guys, just got home from work Monday evening. Got a surprise for you. We're adding a new vehicle to the fleet this evening. Just waiting for my buddy to get here, give me a ride over to pick it up, and, uh, you know, show you what we got, so. All right, so we're in the new project rig here. This thing's been off the road since 2015, and this is its first ride in quite some time. It fired up. It runs really, really well. We're only about <laughs> two miles into our commute, 100% smelling the brakes. I'm smelling them less now though, and they're still stopping the truck. So we're running it until the brakes either fall off or we smash into something. Good news is, is the horn doesn't work, so we're hitting whatever we're coming at. Hopefully we make it back, but so far so good. Look at that nice new truck. Ooh. That nice new Ford F-350. This is what I buy. And this is what Dan buys. <laughs> it's the L'Oreal Rush Bucket. <laughs> hey, let me tell you what does work really good. <laughs> hey, has that thing got nitrous? That thing got nitrous. I need NOS. I need NOS. That yeah. thing going to do a burnout. What are you? Hold my beer. Actually, probably not because all the brakes are hanging up. Can you smell them? Oh, I can tell you first walked in, I can smell them. Yeah. I don't know which I one's hanging out. Are all the lights working? Uh, yeah. It looks uh, like that, that tire's like flat or something. Yeah, no, we realized that too. All of our tires are flat. They apparently didn't put air in them. Yeah, you got a hard, hard smell over there. We'll Temperature, unbelievably cool. Never gets hot. We'll do it right now. Uh, we could try it in the driveway. We'll do it right now. No, the tires are flat. Oh, the brakes no. are hanging up. Let's not break it night one. No, Come on. Don't you peer pressure Come me. On. Come on. Come on. Come on. No balls. Right no balls. No balls. No balls. No balls. I'm afraid. All right? You want to hear me say it? All right, look out. Like, 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 All right. Tomorrow, tomorrow that thing's going to blow up or something. Oh, man. By now, I'm sure you've seen my new rig. This here 1987 Chevy C20. And now that I've had it for a few days, I think you ought to get in here and see what we scored. So for those of you that have been following around on the channel, you saw that Mike picked himself up a beautiful new Ford F350 tow rig. And I just couldn't let it stand. I couldn't let him have himself a shiny new truck. So I had to get myself this one owner, mint condition, 44,000 original miles farm truck that my kids like to call Farmer. And this thing, let me tell you, is more solid than a rock. What about this red spot here? One here, one there. No, no, I could fix them. So, like any vehicle on the I channel, know. This here C20 has been off the road a few minutes. It's been parked for a little over a decade. This thing has been used and abused. 
but man, it works. Our three-quarter ton Chevy Cheyenne is actually pulling 187 tons on this level road. We got this here farm truck from an estate sale. The original owner passed away. A gentleman got contacted to come clean up the estate, found the truck parked in a barn, and there was about eight feet of hay bales loaded up in the bed of the pickup truck. Despite that, this thing underneath is drier than a popcorn cart. What does that mean? Uh, it is a solid, solid rig. So let me get you in here and show you what we got. All right, so we'll give you a good walk around of this rig. All right, it's missing the mirror, all right? You can't have everything. We'll get a, we'll get a new one of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, the front's pretty nice. The grill, that bumper is the nicest but probably the nicest part of the truck. Somehow there's no dents in the front. Oh, well, maybe a little one there. Almost no dents in the front bumper. The grill, that's the grill. It's got a little little wanker, but it's overall not bad. No, it's two pieces. This side's got a, a lot of rust. Yeah, it's, not, it's not rust, it's patina. Patina, whatever. All right. Somehow this thing's pretty solid on the bottom here the uh, rocker panels are there it's super solid a little bit of rust starting in this cab corner but really not that bad we could fix on that the bedside is in pretty decent shape a little bit of rust in the wheel arch here and a little down here but overall not too bad the important thing is take a look underneath let me get you in here. So the inside of the bedside, super solid. Like I said before, this thing is dry as a bone. The bottom side of this truck is literally the reason why I bought it. The inside of the bed here, super, super nice. Not even not even rusted out or trashed up no big dents or gouges or nothing the tailgate's got a little bit of a bow to it but that's all right I don't think this is to it's got the big uh trailer hitch on it for towing them hay trailers truck also uh back bumper might be a little tweaked there but that's all right yeah, it's it's not gonna fall off. It looks like it is. I don't think there's a Wait, straight body panel on this truck. Then here. It is really nice. Dented here. Bottom side of the fenders. Rockers look great. Same thing over here. That cab corner's starting to go a little bit. I think this side looks better than the other. You think this side looks better? Yeah, you're gonna have to see the color. And all oh, this looks really nice and dry. Good. It's got a little bit of rust in the fender well, in the same spot on both sides. Uh, it's got that stupid bolt-in thing that goes here that rusts out on every single one of these trucks. But overall, solid, solid rig. Let's get you inside here. So as you can still see, we have rocker panel. We have floors. Woo! This thing actually had a rubber floor mat in it that we ripped out. And other than where the paint's kind of peeling up here, there is zero rust in these floor pans, which is kind of unbelievable. This all looks really good up in here. Dash looks terrible. Well, uh, I guess you could say that. Well, we could fix on that. We could fix on that. I mean, it's not as bad as it does have a trailer brake that the light goes on when I step on the brake pedal so I think it's doing something the uh, the seat is the most blown out I've ever seen one I'm sitting on a board over here which is neat back windows all sorts of hacked out and gouged and taped together and who really knows what's going on there that's uh, you know Back here is all super solid and nice looking. Oh, some free oil. That's a win. Get you in over on this side here. 
Here's more of that blown out seat. Oh yeah, beautiful. You can see here, 44,000 miles. And what's even crazier is everything on this truck. We haven't had it that long. We haven't really done, we haven't touched anything yet, but everything on this truck is bone stock, 100% original and is working. This truck fires right up. It's the first year of the fuel injection. Uh, the fuel injection is working. When we went and picked this thing up, we had a battery charger on it overnight and it fired right up and we drove it home. They could not believe that we just drove it home. The uh, It's got good oil pressure. It stays cool. Uh, the brakes, as you saw in the video of us driving it home, the brakes seem to be acting up, but they're old. So I'm assuming that what's going on here is that those hoses or something are probably collapsed and kind of holding on but uh we'll go through the brake system before we do anything with this thing again the rocker panel on this side super solid bottom of the doors unbelievable super super good so now let's cover the drivetrain and you know another good reason why i bought this thing and uh show you what we got all right so let's get you in here to look at the power plant oh yeah 5.7 liter small block 350. it's got the uh unbent hood so that's cool super solid under here sweet everything in here looks really good and also super super original original spark plugs that are making me very very nervous because i'd like to get them out and do a tune-up on this thing and they look like they're hermetically sealed into those heads original everything original brake line so i'm guessing we're gonna have fun with that no air conditioning model, only heat. Give it a good tune up. I've never had the air cleaner open. Plenty of uh, acorns and all sorts of other stuff. I wonder if it's got the original air cleaner in it. Based off of all the other stuff we found, it wouldn't surprise me in the very least. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say that's the original filter. That looks terrible. I think the mouse is actually still living in here. Uh, excuse me, it's time for you to move out. There's the uh, TBI, which is really incredible. It works, it seems to be working really good. I've never owned anything with TBI or this old of fuel injection. It runs really well. It fires up right away i don't know if the throttle pedal is a little sticky or if uh it's the brakes that are kind of hanging up on me which look like the original hoses and stuff down there but other than like a little bit of a sticky start from a stop it drives really really well it's totally gutless and super slow so the farmer he definitely knew what he wanted he wanted the cheapest truck they could sell him. Base model, but he knew he wanted that Turbo 400. None of that 700 R4 or uh, 350 with the electronic lockup. He didn't want any of that. He wanted the Turbo 400. So that's what we got here. You know, the bulletproof Turbo 400. You can also see at this point that we still got them original GM good wrench shocks all around on this thing and she ain't leaking nothing the original exhaust under here original fuel lines and everything that's sweet super dusty under here but really really solid then as far as the back of the truck it's got the this big beefy trailer hitch on it it's got the, you know, the tow package. It's got the frame extension thing. And right there, we got ourselves a 14-bolt full floater rear end. The other thing, too, is 
I think right before the farmer parked this thing for the last time, he went ahead and did us a solid, put some brand new Mastercrafts on it. And uh, even better, these are load rated tires. I mean, they are brand spanking new. And thank goodness, because they're what I paid for the whole truck is probably what we got in tires here. So I think we did all right. These are uh, load range E's. I think the only thing not original to the entire vehicle is the gas cap cover, which is crazy. The stick on trim was falling off, so I ripped that off the door and threw that in the bed here. Top of the roof is good. The windshield's good. We'll get you up here. Super, super nice. All right, let me get you in here and fire this thing up so you can listen to this baby purr. Fuel pump kicks on. Oh, baby. We got ourselves a runner. Listen to that thing purr. Everything works in here. Turn signals. The indicator even works. That side. Headlights. They're on. Uh, windshield wipers? Oh, they're working. Okay, I hope they didn't scratch my glass. Just a good, solid rig. Open up the uh, glove box. So a whole bunch of grossness in here. More of the evidence of the mice hanging out. But you can get a good look at the build sheet on this thing. The sliding rear window, dome lamp, fleet side body, 5.7 liter, E of 5 V8, power steering, cigarette lighter, heavy duty rad and trans, blue vinyl bench, tinted glass, heavy duty chassis extension, rear axle, 410 gear ratio, three speed automatic transmission, heavy duty battery, painted rear step, Bumper, deluxe molding package, da 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 da, midnight blue, solid something. Anyway, you get the idea. Well, so now that you've seen my new project truck, let me tell you what my plans are for this thing. Are you kidding me? Becca, you better get on the Facebook page and complain about that airplane noise. Then he just turned it up. So anyway, here's the plans for this here pickup truck. In today's market, pickup truck prices are crazy. They don't make any sense to me. Pickup trucks, some of them are beautiful trucks. Mike's new F-350 is hands down the nicest truck I have ever been in. But I cannot agree with today's truck prices. What the heck are you doing? Are you free right now? So what I wanted to set out here to prove is that this clapped out old pickup truck can be as reliable as any new pickup truck and still haul my cars around. The entire reason, where the heck is he now? We're going to go through this thing, make it good and reliable and safe. And uh, it's gonna haul the haul the car project cars around. Take my stuff to the drag strip and just be a good old reliable truck for a very small fraction of what today's newer pickup trucks will cost you. It's not gonna do anything fast. It's not gonna snap any necks. It's not gonna do anything insane. But I think for pretty cheap we can give this thing a nice overhaul, make it look halfway decent, and uh, tow the stuff around. I think it'll do it no problem. If this thing hauled big giant hay trailers around, it'll haul Chevy Novas around. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. You're an expert now. So I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. We're jumping on the Ventura next, so we're going to be hitting that thing hot and heavy. This is going to get backburnered for a few minutes while we finish the Ventura up, and then we'll dive into this thing. But let me know what you think about this thing. Was it a good buy? Not a good buy? 
Uh, is it going to tow my stuff around? Did I buy absolute clap junk? Personally, I think this vehicle fits me just perfect with all my ratty cars, ratty pickup truck. I think it's great. With a little bit of fixes, a little bit of improvements, I think this thing will be a solid, solid piece. So let me down, know down in the comments what you think about this thing, and uh, that'll be it. We'll see you next time. Hit the like and subscribe button. Is that a mic drop? What was that? A grenade drop? Yeah. Daniel, what do you think about Farmer? It's definitely one of the best deals we've had on the car. Oh, you think so?